the mysteries of the heart. Um, you know, in our Western cultures, there's so much emphasis on the mind. Children have to go to school for years on end, learning things, training their minds, keeping their minds busy. And if they're lucky, they get some, somebody talks to them about love, about the heart, about kindness, about compassion. But it's not something that our culture is particularly concerned about. Unless, you know, you've grown up in some kind of religious background, um, or even in a spiritual community. So, in traditional Asian teachings, there's more of a recognition of the, of the possibility of there being two paths to awakening. One is the path of the heart, which is usually thought of as a path of service. And the other one is the path of the mind. And the irony in our Western background is that, of course, the Christian tradition is very much one of the heart. You know, loving your neighbor, um, charity, which is an unfortunate word because it's no longer really about love. Um, So, and in, at least in the Catholic tradition, there's this, there's this recognition of the sacred heart of Jesus. Um, and the sacred heart, you know, that's really what, what I'm talking about. It's not the heart that loves emotionally. It's the heart that knows the, the, the depths and the mystery and the, the, the absolutely radical and unlimited opening and spaciousness that it's capable of. The sacred heart, you know, if it's thought to be the sacred heart of Jesus, it's unfortunate because then it's not ours. But we have as much of a sacred heart as, as Jesus did, as the Buddha did, as um, all spiritual teachers have in one way or another because when they know themselves to be beyond the, the personality and the person there's also no limitation to the heart and to the opening to all of life to all that is seemingly separate from us. So I love heart meditation because it's a way that that you can you can open to that to that sacred heart, to the mysteries of the heart, to whatever 
you can find there beyond the emotional, you know, the emotional aspect of it. And of course, there's a physical aspect to it too. The heart is an organ in the body. And when we first encounter love, it's usually a very personal love, which is more the, emotion, the, the emotional aspect of love. But then there's also this vast heart, the sacred heart, the heart that knows no boundaries, no limits. And that's, that's what will bring you to the truth of life as much as the mind will. Because ultimately the heart and the mind are not separate. You know, the heart in its mind is open, spacious. If the heart is closed, it's the emotional heart. You know, there's a personality that wanted to defend itself or an animal being, you know, our animal nature that, that needed to defend itself. Um, but if it's, if it's open, then you're really in the depths of the truth of the heart. So that's what I invite you into. That's what I invite you to, to explore. Are there any limits to this heart space? So let's see. Find out for yourself. And if you haven't, if so far in your journey you focused on the mind and awakening in your mind, I really encourage you to include the heart in this. And you may even find that the spaciousness that you're looking for is actually much easier to, to sink into in the heart than it is in the mind. And for some people it really is. I think that's, a, that's one of the real pieces of wisdom that comes out of the Asian tradition that for some people it's really more the mind that will lead them to awakening but but for others you know let's call them the heart types the heart is so much more potent in its language and its energy and being and it it's as valid an access point to yourself as the mind is so try it out if you haven't yet it's definitely worth worth Exploring if you haven't yet. Or if you have in some ways, let's say you've done metta med meditation, which is a traditional Buddhist meditation. Or you've done metta meditation, but metta doesn't, in and of itself, I'm not sure it takes you quite to the sacred heart. It may, it may, but it may not because it, it engages the emotional heart to start with. Um, and that may not be everybody's 
wave accessing it. So, here you are. Welcome to the Sacred Heart.